you're currently pregnant and this does not look familiar to you, you need to hear about this. So this is something that actually my parents always wish that they did at my birth or my younger brothers. It is unfortunately not that common, so a lot of people never hear about it before they give birth. But it could potentially be life-saving for you and your baby, and potentially even other family members. And if you're currently pregnant, you need to hear about this so that you could potentially make a similar decision for your child. So let's talk about why my parents wish they did this. So when a baby is born, the umbilical cord is obviously attached. The umbilical cord on the other end is also attached to the placenta, of course. And when you give birth, the umbilical cord and placenta are really rich with stem cells, which are basically like blank cells that can be used to replace and repair damaged cells. You may have previously heard of stem cell treatments, and this is one of the resources of where you can get stem cells to use for those potential treatments. And the stem cells from the umbilical cord and placenta have then been used to treat HIV, cerebral palsy. In this case, children were using their very own cord blood to improve brain connectivity and motor function with cerebral palsy. Also, cancers like leukemia. This young boy used his little sister's cord blood and placenta stem cells to treat his leukemia. But way too many parents ultimately throw away their umbilical cord and placenta because they never know the true value that it holds. And the fact that it can be a huge difficulty to try and find stem cells in the future should you need it, especially if you're a person of color or mixed race. You can see right here the percentage chance of finding a match based on your ethnicity. So for example, in my family's case, my 